Welcome back to SmackDown, here comes the pain. Last time, Triple H single-handedly defeated the corporation in the Elimination Chamber. And I can only imagine what awaits us next. And there's good old Vince right there to let us know. We sure as hell did. And we're gonna put that behind us. Oh, did we now? Please elaborate. What kind of changes? And what you saying? Yes. Ah, really? <laughs> you think so? It's so interesting he says that when he's tried to keep the belt on Triple H for like, what, ever? And he's going to introduce someone he thinks should be the champ instead, huh? Who's this going to be? Oh, come on, Kane? Kane of all people? The guy who killed Katie Vick and had sex with her dead body in a funeral home? <laughs> oh my goodness. This just gets better. Honored. Nothing about your half haircut have an ass makes us feel honored about anything. Well, there's that. Now we're going to be taking on Kane. Looks like Mr. McMahon spared no expense on getting the greatest superstars for us to wrestle. If I had a dollar for every time nobody was back there, I'd have enough money to buy nothing, because the prices are too damn high. Anyways, Triple H and Batista are in the main event against Kane and Devon Dudley. What? Who made that pairing? No matter who did, they're both about to get their asses dropped by the pedigree. It's just a little weird though, that's all I'm saying. But it's nice to know that Batista's still Triple H's right hand man, even after Evolution ended. The world champion opens this match with a series of chops. And they keep going. And they're still going. You know, with what I'm seeing here, it doesn't look like Triple H is taking this very seriously. And why should he, right? Kane hasn't really been doing anything. He's just disappointing. Okay, hold on. He's actually doing something. Nice backbreaker by the big man. And nothing. This is why we don't take you seriously. Now get chopped. And your partner too. Kane's already got a yellow body. And the game is persistent with those strikes. There's not a damn thing this man can do to Triple H. So I have no idea why he's the number one contender to his title. Well, it could be worse. The last time Mr. McMahon picked the number one contender, it was Rico. The big red machine's now got an orange body. And the game almost has a finisher. Something tells me that when the game gets it, that's going to be the end. Just so long as he don't tag out. The high knee takes down the big bald machine. Come on, Triple H, in this. A throw to the corner. And again. Oh, wait, wait, he's got him. Ref, count. Devon missed. Oh, Kane kicked out. Hey, Devon, aren't you supposed to be a 20-time tag champion? How the hell is that even possible when you can't break up a pin? And here it is. The arms are hooked. Pedigree. Devon's too far to stop this now. Come on, ref. You know, ref, I liked you better when you were invisible. You were so much more handsome. Your count was a lot faster. Ugh. This just ain't right. I wish we could go back to the way things used to be. Now, how's that for your number one contender? He just got pinned clean. I don't even know what Mr. McMahon is doing anymore. The product just isn't as good as it used to be. Oh, look at these losers. Laid out and pathetic. Especially Devon. <laughs> yeah, those are the dudes right there. The best Raw has to offer. Well, 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 Mr. McMahon. It looks like Triple H's reign of terror will be continuing onward. Let's be honest, we all know that Kane's not going to beat Triple H. Wait a minute, has Kane ever beaten Triple H, like, at all? If he has, I can't remember it. Oh well, he's nothing but a loser. And we're going to prove that this week to the fans in Columbia, South Carolina. Alright, let's get it. I can't wait to put Kane behind us. But first, let's see who's backstage. Of course. Alright, well, let's upgrade some attributes. Our guy's almost maxed out. And well, really, he basically is for the stats that matter. Submission really doesn't mean anything. 
Now let's get this show started. Oh, our girl's got a title match. Let's see how that ends. She won all on her own without any help from me. I'm so happy for her. She deserved that title ever since she was in Evolution. It's just too bad she never got it then. In fact, no one but Triple H had titles in Evolution. I don't like that. Here we go, Triple H and Kane. <gasps> he kicks Kane below the belt. Wait, does he even have anything there? <laughs> He's a machine, right? <laughs> Holy hell, he actually hit a move from the top. That must be a good omen for sure. Kane's already over the top rope, and Mr. McMahon better be paying attention. He needs to learn that he should pick Triple H's opponents a lot more carefully. Whoa, hold on now. Yeah, that's right. The game takes him down and gives him a yellow body. So far, Triple H has been looking good. He can throw hands with the best of them, and he's already a great wrestler, so he deserves that world title more than anybody else. Especially this man. I wonder what Kane had to do to become number one contender. Actually, on second thought, never mind. And what another dirty shot. Wait, Kane no-sells it. He's not real. He's a machine. But this machine's about to get that ass beat. The game reverses. Triple H takes him down again. And pounds away at his head. Maybe he could push that hairline a bit further back. I know we'd all love to see it. The game throws him into the turnbuckle. And again. Big man gets dumped outside. And the game flies. How could anyone possibly beat Triple H? Look at what he's doing. Damn. Into the steps. Get in this ring here. Wait for it. Surprise. Hey Kane, what's that over there? The turnbuckle. That's right. Oh, come on. The game fights back and has another surprise for the big man. From behind. Oh no. If he hit that, that would have been insane. Insane for Kane. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Triple H now has his finisher. It's only a matter of time now before Kane gets it again. He goes behind again. The game sets him up for the inverted suplex. All right, world champ. It's time to end this. Here he goes. Yes, it is. The arms are hooked. And down he goes, head first. Come on, ref, get this match over with. And that does it for Kane. For the second week in a row, the number one contender has been pinned clean in the ring. You've already given us the finish to the pay-per-view twice. Why even watch it then? Actually, no, you should. And Triple H is manhandling. I like that, JR. Or machine handling, because, you know, he's he's not real. Yeah, this man didn't deserve to wrestle the world champion. I mean, it's as plain as day. Or night, if that's when you're looking at this. Oh my goodness, this man is pathetic. <laughs> it looks funny as hell, too. <laughs> Look at him up there. Oh yeah, that that's amazing. <laughs> I can't. I cannot believe it. This is the guy. That's the guy they got to wrestle for the world title. Oh, goodness. All right. It's time to head to Austin, Texas. And, uh, well, I don't think Kane's going to make it. If he's already been put on a stretcher, I can only imagine what's going to happen to him as the weeks roll on. And, yeah, no one's backstage. I Maybe I should just stop. For now, we see the world champion in the main event versus... Devon, what are they doing? Well, this will be an easy win. I guess we can't complain. You know, I can't believe we're facing Devon about as much as we used to face Goldberg. Yeah, I can understand for Goldberg. I mean, he's Goldberg, but Devon? Really? What you running away for? Come get these hands. There's a throw to the ropes. Okay, I got you. Nope, nope. We ain't gonna let you do nothing. Take this. A hard shot to the face. Alright, he's already got a yellow head. And the game drops a knee on it. 
Look at that. The game's almost got a finisher. And after this, he will. Oh, come on. Why you gotta be like that, man? Take this move. There you go. DDT. Now, let's end this match once and for all. Good kick. The arms are hooked. And you already know what time it is. Pedigree. All right, ref. Come on. You can do better than that. Thank you. Now, that couldn't have lasted longer than 90 seconds. That just shows how pointless it is to put Devon in the ring with the game. Then again, if Vince booked this, it makes sense, right? He made a guy the number one contender who, well, he's already been beaten twice. Oh yeah, the game's got something to say. Get this man a microphone. Oh, look who it is in his fancy wheelchair. Nice to see you, number one contender. How you doing? <laughs> you don't look so good. You okay? Say what's on your mind then. Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> look at you. Wait, is he gonna... No. He's gonna stand? Don't do it, Kane. Don't do it. You'll hurt yourself. Wait. He did it! Oh my goodness! Look at the bravery of this man! Kane already looks recovered to me. And why is Kane referring to himself in the third person? Who the hell do you think you are? Oh, he said I. Alright, good. No, he's back at it. Someday Kane. <laughs> Dude, speak like a normal person. <laughs> and he's dancing? Hell yeah, man. I like this. More like this, please. I'm entertained enough to give him a title shot. Let's do this. And who knew Kane could dance? I sure as hell didn't.